hi students today we will discuss about first order and first degree differential equations general form of the first order first degree differential equation is dy by dx plus f of x comma y equal to 0 some textbooks are written in the form of dy by dx equal to f of x comma y or we can write another form mdx plus ndy equal to 0 are called first order and first degree differential equation why because the order of the this differential equation is that means first de, first order derivative that means we can say this first de, first order of the differential equation and the degree of the power of the highest de, highest order is one that's why we can say this differential equation is called a first order and first degree differential equation already what is the differential equation first order first degree differential equation is well known in the intermediate level now solution of the this type of the equation through variables are separate first method is variables are separable given in the question dy by dx plus f of x comma y equal to 0 if we can in we can transform the or we can convert it into some function of dx equal to some function of dy this some function in terms of only x terms this some function in terms of only y terms that means all x terms into dx equal to all y terms into dy that means in our convenience we can say this function is f1 of x this function is f2 of y this procedure is called a variable separable that means here all variables are we can convert we can convert it into separables that means we can find all variables of x into dx is equal to all variables of y into dy now integrating this function on both sides plus c after simplification we got some equation that equation is called a solution of the given first order and first degree differential equations for example solve x plus 1 dy by dx equal to x of y square plus given differential equation order is 1 and also degree is also 1 order equal to 1 and degree equal to 1 now we can apply variables are separable it's possible now dy by dx equal to x of y square plus 1 by x plus 1. Now, this dx bring from LHS to RHS and as well as this y square plus 1 bring from RHS to LHS. That's why we can write 1 by y square plus 1 dy equal to x by x plus 1 into dx. Here we have variables are separable. That means here all for all terms of the y into dy and also equal to all terms of the x into dx that's why we can say this is the variables are separable now integrating on both sides integration of 1 by y square plus 1 dy equal to integration of x by x plus 1 dx now integration of integration of we have one formula 1 by x square plus 1 dx is equal to tan inverse x that's why we can write here already last equation is 1 by y square plus 1 dy equal to here we can write add plus 1 minus 1 by x plus 1 into dx for convenient of the integration that implies 
tan inverse y equal to x plus 1 by x plus 1 minus 1 by x plus 1 into dx plus c that implies tan inverse y equal to x plus 1 x plus 1 cancel 1 minus 1 by x plus 1 of dx plus 1 that implies tan inverse y equal to 1 in integration of 1 into dx minus integration of 1 by x plus 1 into dx sorry this is the plus c plus c that implies we can write tan inverse y equal to 1 integration of 1 into dx means x minus integration of 1 by x plus 1 means log of x plus 1 plus c here we have some problem for, for formula integration of f dash x by f of x dx equal to log of f of x here derivative of the x plus 1 here 1 that means derivative of the denominator equal to numerator that's why we can apply log formula therefore this is the solution of the given differential equation and the next example we can solve x plus y whole square into d by by dx equal to a square solution given equation is x plus y whole square into d by by dx equal to a here we can we cannot convert it into variables are separable. Why? Because here x plus y whole square. Here x plus y is the one term that and a whole square also we have. That's why we cannot convert it to directly convert it into variable separable. That's why we can take x plus y equal to v. Now derivative in both sides. 1 plus dy by dx equal to dv by dx. That implies dy by dx equal to dv by dx minus 1. This is the given equation is 1. From 1, we can write x plus y means we can write v square into dy by dx means we can write dv by dx minus 1 equal to a square. Now, dv by dx minus 1 equal to a square by v square. Now this minus 1 brings from LHS to RHS. dv by dx equal to a square by v square plus 1. That means we can apply dv by dx equal to LCM is v square a square plus b square. Now, in before, this v square bring from RHS to LHS as well as this a square plus v square bring, bring from LHS to RHS. Uh, sorry, RHS to LHS. After bring, we can write v square by v square plus a square into dv equal to dx. Now we can apply v square plus a square minus a square. Add a square and subtract a square for content of the integration v square plus a square into dv equal to dx. Now, v square plus a square by v square plus a square minus a square by v square plus a square into dv equal to dx. Now v square plus a square, v square plus a square is cancelled. Now we can write 
1 minus a square by v square plus a square into dv equal to dx. Now integrating on both sides. 1 into dv minus integration of a square by v square plus a square into dv equal to integration into dx plus c. Now 1 into dv means v minus a square is constant. 1 by a v square plus a square means tan inverse of v by a. Tan inverse of v by a. equal to x plus integration of dx means here here integration of a square by a square plus v square dx is equal to a into tan inverse of x by a that implies we can write v minus a tan inverse of v by a equal to x plus c. Now v equal to we have how much x plus y? x plus y minus a into tan inverse of x plus y by a equal to x plus c. This x, this x get cancelled. After simplification we got y equal to a tan inverse x plus y by a plus c. This is the solution of the given differential equation. Now I am explaining another problem. Solve This is the sum typical solve two x square plus three y square minus seven of x dx minus three x square plus two y square minus eight of y dy equal to zero. Given equation is given equation is 2x square plus 3y square minus 7 of x dx. This terms total bring from LHS to RHS. That's why we can write equal to 3x square plus 2y square minus 8 of y dy equal to 0. Now here dy by d this x dx bring from lhs to rhs and this total term bring from lhs rhs to lhs that's why we can write here 2x square plus 3y square minus 7 divided by 3x square plus 2y square minus 8 in equal to y dy by x dx These types of solutions we can use compound endo and dividendo. Compound endo and dividendo. Compound endo and dividendo rule is for we if we have numerator by denominator. After compound endo, dividendo, we can write numerator plus denominator by numerator minus denominator. 
if applied numerator component and dividend for the given equation or the for the this is the equation number two or equation number one only i think this is the only first equation right after apply component or dividend we have that means here i am explaining clearly 2x square plus 3y square minus 7 plus 3x square plus 2y square minus 8 divided by 2x square plus 3y square minus 7 minus 3x square plus 2y square minus 8 equal to here y dy plus x dx by y dy minus x dx that means here we have 2 x square 3 x square 5 x square 3 y square 2 y square plus 5 y square minus 7 minus 8 minus 15 divided by 2 x square minus 3 x square that means means 3 minus x square 3y square minus 2y square that means plus y square minus 7 minus into minus plus 8 means plus 1 equal to y dy plus x dx divided by y dy minus x dx here we can apply here we can apply y dy minus x dx by y square minus x square plus 1 equal to x dx plus y dy this 5x square bring from LHS to RHS 5x square plus 5y square minus 15 that implies we have y dy minus x dx divided by y square minus x square plus 1 equal to x dx plus y dy phi common x square plus y square minus 50 now multiply by 2 on both sides why because here yeah, what is the derivative of y square 2y dy but we have only here y dy that's the multiply by 2 here also same what is the derivative of x square here 2x dx here we have only x dx after multiplication by 2 2x dx here also same Derivative of x square means actually 2 x dx, but we have here x dx. That's why I multiply by 2 on both sides. That means 2y dy minus 2x dx divided by y square minus x square plus 1 equal to 2x dx plus 2y dy divided by 5 of x square plus y square minus 50. Here, see. Derivative of y square means 2 by dy. Derivative of x square means 2 x dx. As well as derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of x square is 2 x dx plus plus y. Derivative of y square is equal to 2 by dy. Derivative of 15 is equal to 0. So we can after integrating we can write log of y square minus x square plus 1. That means derivative of the denominator we have derivative of the sorry derivative of the denominator equal to numerator. Equal to 1 by 5 log of x square plus y square minus 50 plus log c plus log c this is the after integration that means we can write log of y square minus x square plus 1 this 5 bring from rhs to lhs we can write 5 log that equal to log of x square plus y square minus 15 into c here log a plus log b is equal to we can write here log a b here phi log r same here log c1 we can write after here we don't write here only c1 c1 that implies here log of y square minus x square plus 1 all this for of phi equal to log of x square plus y square minus 15 into c1 that implies here we can apply after removing log y square minus x square plus 1 all this for y equal to x square plus y square minus 15 of c1 this is the 
solution of the given differential equation. Thank you.